Hi, everybody. It's that gratitude guy with another guest on my gratitude podcast interview during the pandemic. And I'm going to be interviewing many different people to get perspectives and viewpoints that can maybe help people out there. And today I am blessed enough to have my son Connor with me. Connor, welcome to the podcast. Thank you very much, Dad. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. You bet. You bet. So we'll keep it brief, but let's get to the first question I have for you is, what is your best coping mechanism to deal with this pandemic since it started? Well, thank you, Dad. That's a very great question, especially when so many different things around us are shutting down, whether it be gyms or beaches and a lot of public access trails and a lot of people do for outdoor exercise. Uh, as for myself, I love being outdoors and that's how I get a lot of my stress and energy out that's, you know, holding me up at work. So finding myself going to the um, anywhere in the parks nearby, finding benches and doing like little uh, workouts outdoors that are not blocked off, doing in, uh, indoor workouts. Um, I also write in my gratitude journal a lot as well to kind of get my thoughts about, you know, the government's doing this for a reason that we're shutting everything down. So we got to see it as a grateful opportunity. Um, so I know it's tough for a lot of people that kind of puts them out of rhythm to try to find their coping mechanism, but altering their lives a little bit to see for the greater purpose of society is something that we just got to kind of keep in tune with. Right. And I know just from many conversations in the past, exercise is a huge part of your program as a coping mechanism, really. Absolutely. Yeah. And it is a very good one. They say that, uh, I know even when you get up to be my age, they still say one of the number one things you should do for anything is exercise to keep your physical and mental body in good shape. So great. So second question is, so during these uncertain times, what are you most grateful for? That's a great question. So my number one thing I'm most grateful for is definitely number one is my health, especially when you see, when you turn over, turn on the news, you see thousands of new cases of the coronavirus popping up every single day. So every morning when I wake up and I'm healthy and I'm able to go to work and still live my life to the biggest normality as possible, uh, you know, I'm extremely grateful for that. Uh, next would come uh, my family and friends and, you know, just having such a great support system and it kind of goes down the line. So those are my two biggest for sure. Okay, excellent. And last question, do you have, and again, I'm thinking in terms of the times we're in with this pandemic and with the, uh, the way it's taken over our nation and our world, uh, do you have kind of a quote or a philosophy that you kind of use that uh, kind of drives you or you keep in the back of your mind during times like this? That is also a great question. Um, a new one that I've been kind of living by is that, I think I read in a book somewhere, was that you are where you're supposed to be. Mm -hmm. so kind of like no matter like what kind of like life takes you through um whether you believe in god or not i believe that every action of life has a purpose and where you are like it's meant to be so kind of like the way life is going i think that you just should write it the way it is and you should just be grateful and happy for every single second of life because it's happening for a reason that's kind of what I, i'd like to say it's a good point and i think i remember saying something similar to that wherever you are right now is exactly where you're supposed to be which kind of means it's kind of taken out of your hands almost. And as I said on our earlier guest on the podcast was um, uh, something to the effect of, oh, I know if you want to appreciate up, you kind of have to see down. And this is clearly down when everybody is housebound and, and up in Washington, stay home, stay awake or stay alive or something like that. Stay home, stay safe. I think that's what it was, the, the governor's proclamation a couple of days ago. So anyway, well, thank you so much for those uh, comments. As I said earlier, I'm going to be doing hopefully – I don't know, maybe 50 or 100 of these to send out to uh, the people on my subscription list and my mailing list and so forth, but just to hopefully inspire people with maybe, maybe some things they hadn't thought of too, and we'll get many more and see what they uh, can contribute as well. So thank you so much for those comments. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, Chad. I hope you have a wonderful uh, rest of your night. Thank you for having me on the, on the show. I appreciate it. You bet. You bet. We'll talk soon. All right. Bye.